Hi, my name is Ellen. Welcome to day one of your DAC challenge. The theme of today is pulling, so we're going to work on back and biceps. I'm going to show you five different exercises, some different tools, toys, and equipment, how you can regress and progress the moves. You're going to do seven repetitions of each of the five moves. So move one is going to be a bent over row with dumbbells, starting with a good stance. We're in a hip hinge position. From here, with a nice long spine, we're going to row, pulling the elbows back. You should feel the chest open as you do that. And lower. Because we're in a bent over position, we want to avoid rounding through the spine and forward flexing. So nice and long, pulling the shoulder blades together. Uh, if you have a TRX available to you, you could do a body weight row like so. Bring your feet down uh, and, and kind of starting in a long plank of body position and just rowing with your body weight. Regression progression options with the row have to do with proximity to the anchor point. So the further away you are from the anchor point, the easier it is. And the closer you are to the anchor point, the harder it is. Let's keep moving. Your second exercise that you'll want to do seven reps of is a reverse fly, which is similar to the bent over row, except it's single joint. So you might want to go down a little bit in weight because we don't have the biceps helping out quite as much. All right, your lat pullover. First, I'm going to show you with a dumbbell, and then I'm going to show you with some two weight. So we'll come on down and place one weight overhead, feet on the floor, knees bent. We want to avoid straightening the legs, which can be a little challenging on your lower back. From here, using the lats, this long muscle on the side of the body, we're going to pull the weight overhead. Now, you're going to feel a little bit of chest and triceps here, but focus on your lats. And if you have a band, you can, from standing, choke up on the band, create a little tension, and pull it down behind. Okay, let's finish with some biceps. <laughs> I almost grabbed the heavier ones, but I was gonna show you reverse curls first. <laughs> reverse curls, we're gonna rotate so the palm is down and simply curl, flexing the elbow on the way up. And then your last move is a hammer curl. So really the only difference between the two moves is the position of the forearm. So the reverse curl, palms down, and then when you finish with your seven bicep curls, palms are up. We wanna keep Elbows right under the shoulders so that we avoid swinging and letting momentum in. All right, have fun with day one.